Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. Um, when we left off, we just finished the first dungeon and we were ready to venture off into the world. Now, <clears throat> I realized that in the last episode, I really should have mentioned the graphics mod that I'm using. Uh, my idea is that I want to sort of talk about the mods I'm using a as they appear in the game one at a time, but of course, uh, the graphics mod I'm using uh, is everywhere in the game and it is the definitely the biggest, most performance intensive mod in the game uh, <clears throat> that I have installed. It's called KOW Dream. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, I will link it in the description, but it basically enhances almost everything. I think pretty much all sprites, everything has been redone just to look really, really good. Uh, so that is the graphics mod that I am using. So let's step out into the world. The one performance issue I have with everything is I lag slightly when entering and exiting uh, interiors. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, the sky looks better than normal Daggerfall. That is also a mod uh, that I will link in the description. Once again, I think it's called Enhanced Sky. Uh, and also, we have a mod called uh, Distant Terrain, which is allowing us to look quite far into the distance. Um, now, if I were to just wander around the wilderness, unlike an old Daggerfall, I would probably encounter some random events because of the Warm Ashes mod that I talked about last time. Um, what we're going to do is just go ahead and save now that we're outside. And if you remember from last time, we have a disease. And we need to get that cured ASAP. So the first thing we're going to do is actually just look for the nearest temple and head there. Um, that looks like a good temple to go to right there. So let's just head there right now. I may not survive. Well, let's hope I do. Because if not, we're in a bad situation. Piece of paper gently blows past you. You grab it and pick it up. We'll read that soon. That must be a quest of some sort. That might be an interesting place to start. Oh, uh, and as you can see, you may notice... Well, actually, I'll talk about that in a second. Let's just get ourselves cured in case something bad happens. We need to cure a disease, please. I, which one of you does that? There we go. 301 gold pieces. I wonder if I join a guild. You know what? Let me test this out real quick. Let's see, 24. If I join this guild, will they cure my disease for free? Nope. Okay, well, we're just going to have to pay because uh, I don't want to have a disease. Oh, I don't have enough gold. I need to sell some of my items. Oh, this is really turning into a pain. How much gold do I have? Uh, 278. I'm almost there. Can I find somewhere to sell my items in here? Uh, check. There's no shop here. Oh, this is just very unfortunate. Um, how can I get gold quickly? I guess what we need to do is travel to the nearest town uh, so I can sell my items. I guess we have to travel here, sell my items, and then hope that we can not die while this is happening. I don't really know how quickly this disease kills you. Uh, there's a store right there. I only need to sell a few items to get my diseases cured. And I wonder if there's a temple in here, in this town. Let's find out. General store, perfect. Um, I'm just going to sell one or two items uh, just to get enough money to cure our disease. I think I need to sell one more item here. One more, maybe. Iron Saber, let's sell that. That should be enough. Okay. Let's head out. Uh, where's the exit? There we are. Um, let's figure out if there's a temple in this town before we travel all the way back to where we were before. Um, local temples. Oh, there is a temple. Perfect. Southeast, I think he said? Southeast is going to be this way. Yep. Uh, so, as I was saying earlier... Um, that I didn't want to talk about because I want to try and get the disease cured. One of the molds we have installed is called Immersive Townspeople, I think, or Immersive immersive Villager or something like that. So essentially, it just gives a lot of variety to the people you see walking around because in classic Daggerfall, uh, there wasn't really much variety at all. You pretty much had the same NPCs, the same sprites over and over again. Now we have a much more uh, good-looking town. Um, let's walk into here, get our disease cured, hopefully. Oh, it's way cheaper here. Prides itself on having the lowest prices in Eastwick. 
That's beautiful. That's actually really nice. So it was actually good that we came here. And now hopefully our stats have returned to where they were before. Okay, that's good. Now. <clears throat> you can also notice, perhaps, uh, these birds flying. Uh, that is a mod called Birds in Daggerfall, and it's pretty self-explanatory. It just adds birds into the game. Um, so now that we've escaped, we've cured our disease, taken care of what we really needed to immediately attend to, I guess our next priority should be to sell our items uh, and perhaps join a guild. <clears throat> the two guilds, I think, we were in, well, I guess three guilds, probably the Warrior's Guild, since we are a fighter or, or a knight-type guild, that might be fun. Uh, the Mage's Guild is going to be essential, uh, and we're also going to want to join the Temple of Akatosh, I think, because the Temple of Akatosh has skills which uh, we also have. So the way that Daggerfall works in terms of guilds, for those of you that don't know, let's, let's actually just check this out real quick. Um, this is a pawn shop. So the message uh, that you get when you enter a shop actually tells you how good the prices that you're going to get from that shop are. So we want a shop that is not very good, basically, to get good prices to sell our goods at. So that the worst message results in the best prices to sell your goods at, but the best message results in the best potential items. So that's how, how the shops work. I hope that made sense. Um, so let's try and do that. Uh, yep. That, that's the sort of message we want to get. But I think this is not a... I won't be able to sell a lot of my things here. Nothing, actually. That's sad. All right. Um, so as I was saying, the way that guilds work in Daggerfall, uh, you need to rank up by doing quests, but you also need to have skills that match that guild's uh, skill preferred skills. And the way it works is you need to have at least two skill skills at a certain level that they like. So there are certain guilds that we simply can't join because we won't have the skill necessary even if we did the quest. So for that reason, we want to choose a guild that prefers skills that we also tend to use and like. Oh, I forgot to check the message when I entered here. Let's try that again. Perfect. This is where we want to sell our things. So let's just go ahead and save before I sell everything. And I believe I can just sell... I don't think I need anything really other than what I have so let's just sell all of that perfect uh, we can't sell my and sell my short my shirt I guess uh, my books I don't really need my books so I'll sell those uh, we need to sell my ingredients and also my armor um, to do that we're gonna have to find an armorer I don't know if they have one in this town they do have one uh, let's see where it is it's all, all the way down there, right? Let's just uh, tread. Let's just head on down south. If that armor doesn't have the message that I like, we'll just go to another town where we can get better prices. Um, and then I guess we should figure out what guild we're going to go join. Maybe the Mages Guild, first of all, so that we can purchase the spells that we need. Hopefully we'll have enough money to do that. Also, absolutely essential, is a cart and a horse. Um, those are going to be kind of expensive, potentially. Uh, and for that reason... Um, I'm not sure if we should buy them right away. Certainly a cart uh, would be really useful if we could at least get that. This is an armorer. Perfect. That is the message I wanted to see. So let's just sell everything that we're not going to be using. We don't need that. Um, we can't use that. Chain right. We already have a chain right pauldron and boots. Just making sure. Okay. So let's sell everything. Good enough. Let's see what he has for sale, even though I'm not going to buy from him, because he'll be expensive, most likely. That's better than what we have, but only, only slightly. So, we need to sell our ingredients. I don't think they have an alchemy on the alchemist here, do they? No. Okay, that's fine. So, for now, uh, let's check on the general store uh, and see whether we can get... Uh, what general stores do they have here again? A horse or a cart, something like that. Um, not gem stores, general stores. Uh, northwest, okay. And now for buying, we're going to want to get the a message that the store is of a higher quality. I think that will result in better buying options. Oh, there's going to be some general stores over there, I guess. So let's head in that direction. And how much money do we have? 
we have 1,800 gold. That's actually quite a bit. We should certainly be able to get a cart and maybe a few spells, which is really what we want. And then we can sort of make money uh, through quests. We'll also check on that note that we got after we sort out uh, getting the things we need. One mod that I've been interested in getting is Trees of Daggerfall, which gives a variety of interesting trees to the game, um, but it's quite per performance. Uh, I think it's detrimental to game performance, uh, and I don't know how bad it would be. I do have a pretty good system, but um, I'm not sure. These are This would be a good place to buy things from, it looks like. I'm not sure if this is a general store. It is, perfect. Okay, so let's save our game once again. My torch died. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. Well, that's all right. How much is this going to cost? That is quite a lot of money. Uh, so we're going to not get that, actually. Uh, but I think we do want a cart. That won't be too much money. That's fine. Um, don't think we need anything else right now. Yeah, we're fine. A uh, horse is going to be a goal to, to get a horse. But for now, we do have a cart, and we can use that cart to move around, even though I don't think it's as fast as a horse. So that's nice. Now, um, let's go ahead and check on the note that we got. This should be interesting. I think this is a mod, modded uh, note. Let's see. The Cartographers Association of Iliac Bay. A group of expert explorers and designers wish to chart some of the locations lost to memory that might have historical or resourceful value to the public. We are currently accepting applicants for new explorers at Tunbeth Hamlet for the next 29 days. Present personally to Vanola Copper... Present personally to Vanola Coppercroft at Lady Agrad's Seminary. In your service to Tamriel, you will travel leagues innumerable. See locations forgotten by time and unearth secrets the archaeologists have dreamt of for decades. Wonderful. Well, that sounds quite interesting. So let's let's actually go and head there. Let's head to Tunbeth Hamlet. This is a definitely a modded quest. I'm not sure. I think this is maybe just part of the quest pack. Um, Tunbeth Hamlet. Let's head over there. Travel time is going to be two. That's fine. We should get the prompt for the main quest pretty soon here, by the way. Looks like it is nighttime. Um which means we probably won't be able to get where we want to go. So perhaps we should just head to the nearest tavern, which looks to be north of here, and sleep until day. Okay, so if we sleep like eight hours, it should be morning, I think. Just buy a room real quick. Four gold, okay, that's nothing at all. Let's just rest about eight hours. Let's see what time it is. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, it's still in the morning. Okay, so we're going to rest for three more hours. So it's seven in the morning. Beautiful. And now, let's go join the Cartographer's Guild. This should be very interesting. Uh, so we need to find someone to tell us. What are we looking for again? Let's see. We are looking for Lady Agrad Seminary. Okay, so that seems to be some sort of uh, shop, perhaps. Let's talk to you. Um, is that a library? I thought so. <laughs> this peasant does not like me. Okay, let's talk to the next one. That addition of a tone is pretty interesting, by the way. I like... Uh, I like the fact that there's so many options when talking to people. And if you want an idea of how many guilds are in this game, just look at this. Uh, oh, well, that's the only two guilds in this city, but if we go to general, or where is it, regional perhaps? Um, well, there's definitely a lot more uh, guilds than this. Uh, I thought perhaps we could get the list by just looking at uh, this, but it looks like not. Uh, let's see if we can mark it on our map the seminary we're going to. Okay, he doesn't like me either. Got it. And jumping around is just useful because this is... Jumping and running is going to be increasing our skills in jumping and running. <clears throat> Let's go ask these people over here. See if they like us a little bit better. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't like me either, right? <laughs> Maybe we have a personality problem here. 
Doesn't want to talk to me, okay. This is exactly why I said it's frustrating when the people don't like you. My goodness. Here we go, finally. Okay, so right around the corner and to the south. This is it here, I think. Yeah, looks like it. All right. Oh, um, right. So the hour is, it must not be open yet. So what we're going to do is save the game and just wait a little while. Uh, hopefully it should open in a few hours. All right, perfect. Now we just have to find the person in question. It won't be him. That is the sh owner of the shop. Um, they're going to be, must be hiding somewhere here. There they are, I think. Let's ask. Welcome, my name is Manola Coppercroft, and I am the regional registrar for the Cartographers Association of Iliac Bay. I assume that by coming here, you show some interest in uncovering the mysteries of Hammerfell and High Rock, are capable of long-distance travel on a coin's drop, and can handle yourself under adverse and sometimes dangerous conditions. Now that I have warned you concerning the hazards of the cartographer's path, do you desire to follow it and aid us in mapping out Tamriel's past, present, and future? Certainly. Let's see. Our actions are on our own on if on duty, uh, if I do something bad when I join, that's on me. Compensation is middling, we won't get very much at the start, that's fine. First assignment, it's menial. We have to ascertain the skill level of each member by the work they do. Our assignment is to find the Buckingham residence in Buckinghouse Grange. A simple test. 17 days to do that and return here. Okay, let's let's do that. I think our goal for this episode should be to complete this quest, this sort of beginner's quest, uh, and then maybe go find the Mage's Guild, buy the spells we need, and get a quest for the episode after this one. So, the Buckingham residence, I believe it was. It should have been marked down in our, in our journal, I assume. Let's see. In a Buckinghouse Grange. Okay, so let's find Bucking House. This is also a wonderful addition. You don't have to, in Old Daggerfall, you had to pinpoint the exact location. Now you can just write in the first letters and it will come up with a list of potential options, which is just so nice. Let's head over there. Um, looks like there's only one residence here, so we don't have to ask around to figure out which residence we're looking for. This must be the one. Welcome to the house. From all you can tell, this is the place Manola the Coppercroft told you to find. Now you can report its location back to her. Wonderful. Well, um, that was pretty easy. So let's go ahead and head back to where we were before. Um, what town were we in before? I actually forgot here. Um, return to Tunbuff Hamlet. Right, okay. So let's find that. Ton Beth Hamlet. We won't get very much gold, I don't think, for this pretty simple task, but that's okay. Um, I'm excited to see what later quests involve, because I've never done these before. I think some of these added sprites, by the way, are new, um, unique to one of the graphical mods I'm using, or Unity itself. Um, I should also mention one of the graphical mods I'm using is, uh, I think it's called Hand Painted, painted Model Replacement. Uh, it essentially it just takes it's, it takes some models uh, and just hand paints them, makes them look much nicer. Uh, it's really good in combination with um, the other graphical mod, KOW Dream. Now, we're going to uh, hop in here because this is a place to sell our ingredients, I believe. How much are these worth? Not, this isn't a great place to sell them, but... Uh, it's not a huge deal just because they're not worth that much anyway. Oh, we didn't we have a holy dagger that uh, is worth a lot of money? Where, where would we sell that? It's worth quite a lot. I'm not sure where we can sell that. Um, I'll have to look for a place to do that. For now, let's continue down here. That could actually give us enough money to buy a horse, which would be really nice. <clears throat> So she was over. 
was over here, I want to say. No. Further this way. There she is. Good work. We occasionally send our members on such trips to calculate distances, and so cartography is a science that must undergo continual development. As I said, your early fees will be low, this time when we have 99 gold pieces, but be patient and funding will come in. Who knows what could turn up in one of Tamriel's forgotten corners, so we'll send you when we need you. Wonderful. So I think this is this. the next quest will sort of just come up uh, based on some sort of time uh, calculator, so for now we can just forget about that, wait to hear back from the little cartographer's guild there and um let's head to the mage's guild i think they might have one in this town because it's pretty big they do wonderful west of here okay so west would be here if it's west of here then it's likely this one so it looks like northwest <clears throat> now the spells that we need are we, we want a restoration spell since we're going to be doing quite a lot of that. Um, we might make a custom restoration spell. <coughs> we also want mark and recall. We need those uh, to go in a dungeon, so hopefully all of that won't be too expensive. And we can also join the guild and perhaps get a quest from them to begin with. Uh, I haven't actually done much with the Mage's Guild. It's one of the most useful guilds in the game because it gives you access to things like enchanting items, uh, which is just so good. Um, but because I always play warrior type characters, I don't really use magic uh, as often. So this should be interesting. I'm a little bit worried that our resist, our uh, critical weakness to diseases might be very bad, um, but we can just buy a bunch of potions to prevent that, I suppose. So here is the mages guild. Let's save before we do anything and see if we can join this guild. Yes, you are worthy. We can use the spell maker and get training in any of the guild spells and we'll become eligible to use the library, buy magical items, and even make your own. Yes, I want to join. Wonderful. We're now Tish and Apprentice, Apprentice of the Mages Guild. So, uh, we can get a quest, but before we do that, let's go ahead and find the spell maker uh, and make ourselves, ourselves a nice spell. This is Daedra summoning. We don't want to do that. That's not... Nope. That won't be uh, something we can do for quite a while. Um, as I said, I don't really generally join the Mage's Guild, so I don't know where everyone is. Okay, make spells, right. So, <clears throat> what we want is just a really basic uh, restoration spell. Um, hopefully I can do this, actually. I, I hope that I can uh, do this. I haven't done it for quite a while, so let's see. Restore health. Regenerate, would that be it? Shield, silence, teleport, open, heal. I guess heal would be it? Heal health. Um, I think all we need is just this really, really basic. <clears throat> we don't need anything huge. Just something that will allow us to rapidly spam one spell that's going to uh, heal our health up. Per one level. Chance not applicable. Heal health. Restores health up to normal level. Duration instantaneous. Magnitude number of health points restored. Oh, I see. Why can't I increase it? Um, oh, I see. <laughs> like I said, I haven't used this. Uh, so the magnitudes and number of health points restored, we don't really need a ton of health points restored. We're just going to basically spam this spell. So um, I think this is what we need. So let's buy this. All right. Um, we're going to call this uh, weak heal. We're going to buy that. Okay, so that's the first thing that we needed. Um, I would like to be able to test it out, but we have to get hurt to test it out. Uh, we also want to find someone where we can we can buy spells from, because we want to try and get Mark and Recall. Uh, let's see if we can find the person to do that. And not you. Um, from here? No? Okay. Nope. Even the building interiors are like a maze in this game. Uh, right, what about here? Okay, perfect. We need mark and we need recall. Hopefully we can find those. Recall, that's one. Wait a minute. Recall. 
Yeah, I need that. I also need Mark. Um, do they not have Mark at this particular shop? Um, M. No? Okay. I'm trying to think if we want anything else. We could get a nice healing spell, but I think for now we're just going to stick with what we have. Uh, maybe unlock might be useful. Um, open. That's quite expensive though, so maybe not. Maybe with a custom spell maker we can make a mark spell. Since they only seem to have recall here. Um, that seems like probably the move. So let's go back and see if we can do that with the custom spell maker. If not, um, then we'll just have to find another mage's guild or another place to buy spells. Oh, right. Um, where were they again? They were in this room? No. Right, I'm losing my mind here. I forgot where the custom spellmaker was. Oh, up here. No, this is buying magic items. Here we are. So, Mark, is that, a, is that an option? Teleport, I guess it would be. Caster chooses location and is able to teleport to location instantly. Spell must be cast at least twice to use, one to choose location. Um. Is that the same as Mark? <laughs> or maybe Mark in Dagger. Oh, I'm not sure. I think maybe Mark is the only spell that we need and we can use it to teleport. Let me let me try that out. Let's see. 30. So we have Mark now. Or we have Recall now. Right, I think so. So if we set an anchor here and then we walk over here and then we s Recall and we teleport. Yeah, Okay, <laughs> right, so I am used to playing games where you have both a Mark and Recall spell. In Daggerfall, you only have uh, Mark, or you only have Recall. That's all you need uh, to teleport. So that's perfect. We have everything we need. I think what we want to do is just grab a quest that we can look forward to doing in the next episode. Um, and maybe get enough money to get some better equipment and a horse. Uh, and then maybe join a temple. So let's grab a quest, see what we'll be doing, and then we'll stop off for now. Let's see. So let's save. So normally in Daggerfall you just get a random guild quest, but uh, in Unity you can now take a look at all the quests that there are. Um, some quests are going to involve going into a dungeon, some you can stay on land. Maybe for the first few we should just, or maybe the first one we should just do one that's pretty basic. We can do pretty quickly just to get some reputation, although we do want to go into a dungeon because that would be quite fun. I'm not sure... Um, about what all these are actually because like i said i don't normally join the mages guild i haven't for a long time when playing this game so perhaps let's just choose the top one retrieve an ingredient and see what that one is we need you to get a rare ingredient that is hidden away in a nearby dungeon you will get a finder's fee of 196 gold pieces okay so screw it let's just do a dungeon quest an excellent attitude to ship you're looking for daedra's heart which can be found in the hole of bowl you have six days to bring it back okay wonderful well that will be what we're doing next time. We'll be go heading to that dungeon and trying to get the Daedra's Heart. So thanks everyone again for watching. I hope you're enjoying this and admiring all, all the interesting additions that the mods uh, are adding to the game in addition to Daggerfall Unity itself. So once again, a big thank you to the people who made this. Uh, leave a like, comment if you enjoyed, and let me know if you have any ideas for where we should take all of this.